Hello the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, Looks the right. one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fable Anniversary. Alright, when we left off, I had to wait out time to be able to talk to this Darling, guy. yeah, heard that. Yeah, you did. I'm but sure did you did. did you know he's been seen in Oakvale? I bet it's still there somewhere. Oh. Yeah! Well, well I need to find that out good? about the uh, <laughs> necklace there, so now we finally have that out of the way. Now... Ooh, good God. Sorry, I got a little burpee from my soda earlier. I need to get myself... Well, I mean, I don't have to first go to Oakvale. Uh, or I could go to Oakvale and then... Find the Necklace Thieves in Oakvale. I should do this one first, probably. If anything. Didn't... Okay. That's, <laughs> I was screwing up there. Um, I have to go to the map, don't I? Or, wait, I have to do this. This is the one I need to do. I'm half asleep. <laughs> I woke up a little bit ago, and my brain is not fully functioning yet. That said, I'm going to try and down as much coffee as I can to fix that. Whoo, boy. And it seems I'm also dealing with a bit of a cold again. As I have seen to this entire time. Okay. There's a lamp here somewhere that I'm supposed to be using, I guess. Something I need to light up a bit. At least that's what the mission said, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's what it said for uh, investigating the mayor. Yeah. Flash of the lamp three times by the stables in the Grey House region. And I'm there, so I need to find where the lamp is. If I can do that, then I'm good. Problem is I'm not I'm not seeing where I'm supposed to do it. That's annoying. So I'm assuming this is the stables. I'm assuming this is where I'm supposed to do it. I don't know now. Because I'm not given an option to do anything there. Okay. Well, I mean... I have no idea what to do. Again, I thought that's what you were supposed to do. Was go back, talk to them about it. And then... You can start doing the lamp flashing thing, but apparently no. I'm so confused. I am so confused. Oh my god, I'm confused. Oh. I guess I can just walk inside that. Whoa. Okay, hollow men are popping out. Uh, there is an important quest card of the guild for you. Is there? Can you possibly do this another time? There we go. Okay, it's a good time to turn that on. There we go. Well, broke all of them. Well, what does that mean? Not sure, but apparently. I did what I needed to do. Oh, we got a will potion. Nice. Anything in here? Ages of skill potion. Ooh. That seems impressive that I want to drink that down eventually. Things are loading. <laughs> they want to be a little slow today, but then again, so is my brain, so I really shouldn't talk. Anyway. Drink that. There we go. Wow. 10,000. What do we got here? Talon Clan Leg Tattoo. Yeah, okay, we'll pick that up. What do we got here? Something. A ruby! Hey! And I know exactly where to sell that. Dusty Notebook. Alrighty. Something in the Dusty Notebook I should be paying attention to. Find nothing interesting. Okay. I should probably read that Dusty Notebook because there's probably something there I'll want to read. Uh, apparently I was forgetting a lot of things <laughs> when it came to this. 
The book says, I, Elvira Gray, known from this day forth as Lady Gray, have come of age and finally to the power I have so longed for. This marks a day this day marks a turning point for the Gray family. An end to weakness, indecision, and regret. As I look back on my past, my only dissatisfaction lies in wasted time. I wish that the masked messenger, whose words made the world so clear to me, had arrived earlier in my life. Tonight, I take my leave of this house and begin anew. Bowerstone will find its new leader a formidable woman. Hmm. I'm wondering who the masked messenger is. I already know. It's the Jack of Blades. That's who they're mentioning. Of course they are. Alrighty. What the hell is up here? Ooh, can I open this? Nope. I have four and I need ten. Well, fuck me. Ages. What is with all of these potions popping up out of nowhere? Normal beard. Hey, I'll, I'll pick that up. Sure, why not? It'd be nice to have a normal beard too. Um. What do we got? Uh, there we go. Ages of Will. There we go. Another 3,000 points. Uh, not as impressive as a skill one, but hey. I'm not going to bitch about that. There's not too much. we got enemies down this way, which is probably something I should deal with. Oh. Oh, it's one of those things. Okay. Okay. Wait until they stop a bit. Because then it's easier to hit them. There we go. Okay. There we go. There we go. That one's dealt with anyway. Okay. Okay, Jesus. There's, there's a lot of them popping up. Nope, nope, nope. You're all dead. Good. And please don't tell me you froze on me. Uh, please don't tell me you froze on me. Okay. That was ridiculous. Oh, come on. Okay, come on. Oh, that should have hit. That definitely should have hit. That's ridiculous. That didn't. There we go. And wait until you, you come back. Spot a hit again. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. That could have gone far, far worse, especially with that freeze in the middle of it. <sighs> All right. Well, I mean, should have been what I expected. And then there's the gravestone behind the house that had that little thing happen to it. Should probably see what that was about. At least I think it was behind the house. There it is. I had to try and identify where the hell it was. The grave says, I finished before you in the human race. Huh. Oh, I'm supposed to dig here. This is probably... <laughs> a Deathlicon. The Deathlicon is a death worship cult who consider all forms of life sinful. They are supreme necromancers. Okay. That's probably not the greatest thing to be uh, doing there. Um. Yeah. Let me out. Let me out. It's dark in here. No coins, please. The stone reads, not dead, only sleeping. Buried me anyway. Unlucky. Wow. <laughs> wow, that is bad on so many levels. Uh, there's nothing else really going on here other than this tombstone engraving. What am I supposed to do then? Okay, I guess I'm. that must mean I have to go back down, then flash the lamp. And then maybe I can go on from there. Not sure. I don't know. Seems a little more lighted up than usual. Uh, I 
I don't know. It's not telling me anything. Uh. Whoa, that's not what I told you to do. There we go. So I do have the lamp option. It just never showed me. There we go. Oh. Oh. I'm assuming this is the sister. I think her name was Amanda. Alrighty. I guess we just gotta go this way then. Alrighty. <laughs> Down to the uh, area we go. I was remembering this quest in the wrong order of things. That's what the problem was. And apparently I was not remembering some of the buttons that I needed to hit in certain areas. Down to the little cupboard area we go. Well, this is more of a cellar area, if anything. <sighs> and what do we got? Rodri, is that you? Nope. I've waited for you so long and I... Wait, you're not Rodri. No, I'm not. I prayed that he would rescue me, but he never came. Oh, no. When the air ran out. I closed my eyes and imagined I was dying in his arms. Oh, geez. Now I'll never see him again. And my sister has taken everything. Yeah, she People has. People must know the truth about her. Take this letter. Show the world what really happened. Absolutely. We'll do it. And that is when I can stop Elvira from doing her thing. All right, little master's elixir. Okay, that one's for, oh, for boosting my ability to store magic. Okay. God, I keep hitting the wrong damn buttons, even though I've pretty much down my coffee. <laughs> pretty much. Uh, there it is. I went right past it. There we go. Perfect. And scrolled parchment. The fragment reads, The air is running out and I have hardly the strength to scratch the words on this letter. The lamp was extinguished hour ago, hours ago and my life cannot be long in following it. Now that I've resigned to my fate, however, I am concerned solely with my duty as the eldest of the great children. Oh, so she was the oldest. Rightful heir to the office of the Bowerstone Mayorality. I can only hope that those words that these words are one day found, and the truth they speak become known to all. I die at the hand of my sister Elvira. The new Lady Grey is murderous. I grow weary now. Sleep is upon me, and the final scrawl is legible. Jeez. So, now you know the truth. Yep. Amanda was a weak, romantic fool. She didn't have what it takes to run Bowerstone. You can be that she and still run a place. She place into an egalitarian slum. You make it sound like but that's a bad thing. But don't worry your pretty head with such big words. We can still be together. You no. can still have me. No, I won't. Would you like to be mayor? No. Look at the power. It can all be yours. Just hand over the letter. No. Do you want to cover up the murder and marry Lady Grey? No! What? No one refuses Lady Grey. No one. Well, maybe just Thunder, like but not me. I'll, I'll, they're... Infecting my city with their petty little lives. Wow. Fine, then. Tell everyone. Have your moment of glory. Will do. But I will return one day. And I will wash away all the filth with your blood. Remember that. Hero. Alrighty then, Trump in female form. Alright, um... There is an important quest card at the guild for you. The desiccated corpse of a young girl. Jeez. Alright, well, um... I think we've, uh, done our part in this, uh... Mad fucking craziness. Okay, come on. There we go. 
Try to make sure I pick up what I can in here before I leave. Well, she's not that happy with me, but that's fine. I wasn't going to be that happy with her anyway at the end of this, because I knew she was a fucking crazy, psychopathic murderer. So, you know, fuck her. Whoa. Wow, there's a lot of these around. I don't remember them being around this much. Holy shit. Well, I mean, now I'm going to have to make my way through this. That's fine. Okay. Hey, buddy. You're going to get beat up. And beat up quickly. Holy shit. Okay. Jeez, they are nothing compared to me. I thought they'd be a little more challenging. At least. Okay. I can't hit him until he's fully back up. That is really fucking stupid. Oh. Oh, this is a big guy. Hi there. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, come on. There we go. Good stuff. Oh, I can't hit him until he's back up, so. Alrighty. Come on now. Okay, come on. Come on. You swing and come on. Come on, you little shit. Take your lumps. Come on. There we go. That worked. That's the screaming of the hollow men. <laughs> right behind killing them is really, really off putting. Yeesh. Makes you feel bad for killing them. Same time, kind of not. Because it feels like you're also freeing their souls from a lifetime of torment. Probably what it is. All that screaming. There we go. And come on. Come on. There we go. And there we go. Alright, good stuff. Okay, come on. There we go. go. Oh, jeez. Come on, take your lumps. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Trying to get some skill stuff done. I figured I might as well. And, uh. There we go. And. Build it up a little more. There we go. Wow, I'm building up the multiplier really, really high at this rate. Holy shit. It's the best. It's the best part of this. Alright, so, um. That one ultimately keeps me from opening this demon door forever. The option I chose. Ultimately, I can never open that again. But that's fine. I'm not entirely sure what's behind it, but I'm sure it's not anything I would necessarily want. If I had chosen to marry her and cover up the murder, then I would have been able to go through that. But because I'm a nice poison, <laughs> that's not going to happen. All right. Uh, I think at this point, I should probably head back to the guild. I think that's what I should do. So, there we are. Um, yeah, let's head back to the Heroes Guild. I have some points to spend, I know that much. Ah, boy. Turns out I did not finish my coffee like I thought I did. <laughs> Oopsie do. I forgot how big these cans are <laughs> for these. They are monstrous. All right. That all taken care of. Now let's look at the quests that we have. Rescue the archaeologist. That's one we'll have to do. Hmm. Uh, break the siege. There's a siege in that whole glade. Oh no! What's that about? And lost traitor. Find the traitor's lost brother and return him to safety. Can't really boast about that. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll take that, I guess. Um, we'll do the siege in a second and rescue the archaeologist from Bowerstone Jail. Why is he in jail? That's a good question. Don't know the answer. Alright. Might as well get 
points allocated. Uh, especially for skill. I got a lot of skill points, however, I can't apparently invest them at this point. Because everything else needs a whole lot more. Jeez. Alright, and magic, I can do this. I'm just not sure about physical shield. Nope. Can't really push that any further. Push that to about the limits that I'm going to be able to bring it to. <laughs> ah, boy. Um, heal life. Uh, I want to have... If I'm going to buy a secondary spell that isn't physical shield, I want to have it completely covered by skill points and magic, and I don't have enough will points for that. So, uh, yeah, we'll just leave that alone for now. Might as well do... Alright. Grab Break the Siege, and we'll boast for Rescue the Archaeologist. Get all of that set up. Then we can set ourselves up to boast for the other quest. Well, the other quests that we're allowed to boast in. All right. Do the quest naked? No. Take no damage? I think I can manage that now. That one, not so much. <laughs> uh, break the siege. No. Attempt it. No. Uh, without the assistance uh, from any guards. I could do that. And I could do that. Well, it depends on who the bandit siege leader is. But it's probably... Probably someone I can do. Some, someone I can kill and without any ill effects. Alright. Everything else is pretty much gravy. Alright. Now... Where should I go to start some of them? Um, Break the Siege is probably not that high up on the importance factor. So, I might as well do this one for now. I might as well do this one and get that one done and over with, because plot-wise, I think the Bowerstone Jail is the one I need to do. But, I'm going to do all of that in the next episode, because we're a little bit over time as it stands. Huh. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community and we can talk about the game so together. So you're the hero sent, eh? Well, uh, I've got a new but... job for you. Do ya? These bloody villagers are holding our boss and they plan to hang him. So huh. I want you to take a message to their chief. You tell him we'll raise his precious town to the ground if he doesn't hand our boss back. Got that? Well, right along then. We haven't got all day. Um. Uh. Now I'm very confused. <laughs> I didn't expect this part either. Um. I'm not letting that bandit go. He's plundered this village for far too long. We've got him under guard up the hill by the tavern, and that's where he's staying. So you'll just have to go back out there and get rid of the scum's bandit friends. Talk to the guard over there when you're ready, and he'll open the gates for you. As for me, I'm off back to my hut. Good luck. Okay, well, that was weird to happen really soon. Because <laughs> I didn't think that was going to happen that quickly. Especially when I was trying to be in <laughs> doing my outro, and that threw me off entirely. <sighs> Take two. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and getting ready to break the siege of bandits for you.